everyone it's your girl ashley and, and i'm back with another video so y'all i am down and like oh spit that is crazy but so y'all like i am down in noon and i'm coming to pick my granddad up spend some time with him take him like store shopping and stuff like that so I'm excited because y'all, I don't really spend much time like I used to with my granddad as much as when I was younger. Um, but this is like my pure heart. Like when I tell you, when I get married, I pray and hope my granddad is still here because this is the man I want to walk down the aisle now. Preferably my grandparents are older and y'all, I hope a man comes along in my life and um, he does right by me, does right by my family. And he honors me and he protects me and he can show my parents he can show my grandfather that like you know he's the right man for me um and so yes this is my heart and i'm getting ready to enjoy the rest of the day with him well sort of yeah um and spend some time with him and just you know just chill with g-pops um i just spent christmas with him um, and so today he needs a ride to like some stores and stuff. So that's what I'm gonna do spend time. Um, and y'all, I'm actually like kind of happy right now because like I just had an epiphany moment like with God, and I um, was reading this book that I have in my bag, y'all, while I was getting my window fixed because my window needed repair or whatever. Um, my glass had broke and I had showed y'all that. But um I had epiphany and while I was at the gas station, I had to talk with God because y'all this year has really been rough. I um I don't know, I didn't really speak on much about like what really happened this year, but what's understood don't have to be explained, but I just wanted to bring y'all in a little bit. Um I felt like I was, you know, manipulated in a way this year. Um, not like forced manipulation, but just a mind control thing. Like a person know, like the person know what they were dealing with when it comes to me. And so they use that to the best that they can. And, you know, they took advantage a little bit. And now... I'm a forgiving person and I forgave them. Um, but it does take time and healing to be able to, you know, get over that type of thing. Because if you want to be able to progress and, you know, just move on with life, you know, you have to heal those sore spots. And so um, that's what I'm trying to do. Like, Right now, I'm not moving too fast. I'm not, like, jumping in into anything. Yes, I am talking about a relationship. So, for those that want to be nosy, yes, I'm talking about a month relationship. But, um, yeah, so, like, I just know that this year coming up, which is 2024, is that I want to home into, like, myself, um, do things for me. And, you know, if I want to spin a block, no, I'm just playing. But if I want to, like, just, um engage in things i have to know my boundaries and set those limits for myself and let it be known to the other person as well and so um i'm choosing me because i feel like i just always have a loving heart so i always put others before myself but this year i am choosing me and so now i'm at my uncle house y'all I see that blue tape. I cannot take this off for 24 hours. So I don't think I'm going to take it off till Tuesday, though, when I go to work. Um, but yeah, let me call my granddad, y'all, so he can get in the car and we can go shopping. Because, um, yeah, got things to do later on. This place called Fried Green Tomato. I had to, I dropped my granddad off at the front. And now I'm walking up. He loves this place. Like, y'all, ever since I've been little. I've never really known my granddad to cook food. We always ate out, and since he's staying new there now, like, we are always here. So, he's calling me right now, so I'm gonna talk to y'all later and spend time with him, and I'm gonna show y'all. Welcome to Fried Greens Tomato.
good right now. The fish good. Freezing out here. GQ with the brown on. I like your brown mustard tan. Oh, I'm finna drive to the next destination. Definitely like cakes, bread. You can make a million oatmeal. A million oatmeal. Y'all, do people still eat Cracker Jacks? I used to love them, but I don't know. Like, do people still eat them? All right, you ready? Trying to catch up. 